Many people run into sweat bees this time of year, but people often confuse them with a more harmless flying insect. Storm Team 10's Matt Brooks found a bio biology expert to help you learn the differences. Nobody wants to get a sweat bee sting while out enjoying the weather, but you may not always have to take the party indoors, as there are quite a few sweat bee imposters. There are true sweat bees that are attracted to human perspiration, um, the salt specifically, uh, but usually what people are calling sweat bees aren't bees at all, they're flies. Hoverflies, or surfid flies to be more specific, they mimic bee stripes on their abdomen so predators will leave them alone. If you do manage to find a hoverfly, chances are it is not going to harm you. Your best bet is to let it go, and it may even help you to protect your garden. Hoverflies are a beneficial insect. They're harmless, but they help pollination, so they drink nectar, and their, their larvae will actually eat aphids. One key feature can help you spot them before you get too close for comfort. That hoverflies, given their name, will just kind of hover in place and they'll move erratically around a flower or sometimes around your finger or your hand. Under a microscope, sweat bees have four wings to the hoverfly's single pair. Another big difference is that a hoverfly has no stinger. While you might not be able to avoid the sweat bees or their imposters, you'll have a little more knowledge next time. In Terre Haute, Matt Brooks, News 10.